What's up, buddy? It's Max. We're gonna go check out the backyard and what's been done this week, because it's been a lot, and I like it a lot. So let's take a little tour. So, what do we got? Well, if you've been to my house before, you know that the pool was cool, but the backyard was a freaking mess because of the drainage, dogs uh, tearing up the yard, all kinds of ca problems caused by the pool. I'm shivering because it's 51 degrees out right now and I'm soaking wet in, in my swim trunks. Um, yeah, so anyway, what do we have done? We fixed that entire freaking hill. Retaining walls, fence, new plantings, dry beds, all that stuff is getting funneled under the shed there is a storm drain we've got uh, all new sod we went with fescue so it wouldn't go dormant in the winter time we've got this little area right here um, which is going to have a fire pit of course we've already got the hot tub and stuff like that uh, new plantings over there we've got a uh, parking deck for the uh, for the motorcycle trailer but we've got all this stuff done put up a gate keep the dogs from getting in there and destroying that we're gonna have some LED uh, floodlights coming in uh, you know with uh, solar power and stuff like that um, there's French drains all underneath here you've got a new retaining wall to keep mudslides from getting into the pool we got a gate over here so you can get up in there and fix all you know do weeding and stuff like that We've got all this done going down there. This was hopefully where the dogs are gonna be spending most of their time doing their business rather than wherever they please. So we gotta do a little training there. Another retaining wall, got that put in. We got some more plantings to do. We've got like a couple grand worth of freaking lounge chairs and new outdoor furniture and stuff like that. So we're gonna to have to redo the whole, you know, basically it's done. Now it's just clean up. Probably gonna put a new sound system, get rid of the sound bar, put some speakers up there, up there, get some of those hidden speakers out there, in the rocks, or that look like rocks and stuff like that. And I think we'll be good to go, you know, just kind of finish cleaning up, straightening up, getting rid of crap. But as far as the landscaping goes, I think we're all done here. So now the last piece is cleaning the pool. And I'm gonna get back in the pool because like I said, it's 49 or 50 degrees out. But the water is 85. <laughs> so we're going to get in the pool. Ah, much better. So let's see what else we have to do. We had to replace the filters on the pool so that we could have our uh, the pressure working properly. We had a problem where all the... So from the neighbor's been doing a lot of construction, some really impressive stuff on, up, up on his property, which caused a lot of runoff water, which was carving up our hill and just destroying stuff. And we actually had a couple mudslides into the pool which clogged up my filters. And... So hopefully now that is the end of it. We've got my little robot working feverishly to clean out the rest of the pool. I had to manually vacuum some of it. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of our backyard transformation. Once we get it all set up, get the chairs out here, get it ready for like, you know, country living shoot. Not that we're doing that, but you know, where it actually looks like that. Um, get all the furniture set up, get the rest of the, everything tidied up we'll be in really good shape here I can almost see the steam coming off which is good because sitting right under here the water the pool is 85 this is considerably warmer that water coming out is probably about 95 so I'm going to park my happy ass right here for a minute I might as well try out the underwater stuff so what we had problems with all the silt the last of the cleanup is actually just silt and sand from that red georgia clay getting in everything and it's super fine and it's not mud it's literally like it's the it's the slipperiest stuff the dogs would kick it up it would float like dust land in the pool and then sink to the bottom so we're going to water here you could probably still see some of it down there but the robot is getting most of it
So I don't know if you saw all that, but you see that little bit of silt on the bottom? The, the robot has an actual silt bag on it, so that hopefully it'll clean that up. Hopefully the audio is working now and it's not full of water. I guess I'll find out when I watch this later. But that's, uh, that's our kind of backyard transformation. So hopefully tomorrow it's going to be like sunny and 72. Might get out here straighten up a little bit more. But basically now we're open for business. We're not embarrassed to have people over. Because the pool was great, so you want to have pool parties. But we just when we put the pool in, whatever company you choose to do a pool, the company that did the pool did a good job. What they didn't really help us with was the drainage and stuff like that. It radically changed how the yard flowed water. So we had pooling water all over the damn place. And so what would happen is it killed the Bermuda grass. We resodded two or three times and it would kill it. And then the dogs would run through it and track mud in the house. And it just, it really became a problem. So we kind of stopped having people over because it was really just kind of a mess back here, which is a shame when you spend that kind of money on a pool. So this year we just got fed up with it. My wife talked me into it and I'm glad she did. Thank you. Because <laughs> it really does look amazing. So. We bought our house low when the market was shit back in 13 or 14. And since then it's more than doubled in price. So we pulled out a little bit of equity to put back into the house and dumped a bunch of money here and it's gonna be much better. And actually now it'll add to the price. Right now, if we appraised our house, it would probably appraise for 75 grand more than it did for the uh, appraisal for the, uh, for the refi. So. I figure we're paying ourselves in that respect because it's going to go right into the value of the house. So it seemed like a good thing to spend that kind of money on. But there you have it. Hopefully we'll have some pool parties. I'll need friends for that. But I think when you have a pool, you automatically find you have friends. So I'm going to park my happy ass, as I said, back here under this nice, very warm water. Because when that wind hits you, it is cold as shit. I don't know why. We were like 70 degrees, then down to 50, and tomorrow will be back up to 70. But... Anyway, that's a little backyard tour. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.